I haven't had a boss in 36 years, except myself, and I'm a bit of a hard ass. And of course I get to experience under the ocean, you know, all its critters and idiosyncrasies. I've been harvesting cucumbers and sea urchins since 1988. Uh, I usually go as many days a week as the weather will allow me. The current was pretty strong, but it was, it was good because it kept the silt going away. I think we got probably around 500 pounds for our efforts today. They're not everywhere. They're only in certain places. They need certain requirements. And uh, so a lot of it is the searching, searching for urchin. We require cold water. That's, that's the, the gift of our California bite is we have a cold current that comes in there. Today it was 56 degrees on bottom. When we have warm water periods, the kelp does very poorly. The kelp is doing poor, it's not good for the urchins, they have no food. When they have no food, they become very hungry and they scour the bottom and they prevent kelp from growing. So are we going to see more El Ninos because of climate change? Are they going to be more intense? We don't know. Here is the gold, California gold. So when we have uh, problems with kelp, all the sea urchins get skinny. When we have a lot of kelp, all the urchins get nice and fat like this. I've seen a lot of the bottom, I've seen how it changes, I've seen you know, the changes in the ocean, what happens when an El Nino comes through, what happens when the kelp comes and goes. Even, even on one particular spot, you'll see difference in quality because some of the urchins are getting food and some aren't. We keep these urchins in check by doing what we do. And if nobody's out there to harvest them, yeah, they would definitely uh, take over and turn into urchin barons. We don't see many young kids walking the docks looking to go fishing anymore. I'm the young pup in this fishery. We have uh, one guy in his 80s, guy that's right around 70s, and I'm in my late 50s. We're aging out in this fishery. It's difficult finding young people that want to do this work because it's hard work. You have to be out in the ocean, you have to deal with the weather, the water's cold, you know, sometimes your engine blows up. It's, it's a risky, hard work. And same on this side here, it's, it's hard work processing sea urchins. I love diving in the ocean on good days. <laughs> you forget you're in the water, actually. I call myself kind of the jellyfish. I just kind of go where the currents take me and hopefully they wander me into a good spot. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.